and it's the day before the race and it's getting very very hot I'm I've been out for like five minutes and I'm already like sweating um, so yeah it's gonna be a tough time for my car at the track uh, with all this temperature and speaking of temperature I bought this useful thing uh, on eBay and it's like a pistol that measures the temperature where you pointed uh, for example you can see the laser so it's 40 degrees so let's see the asphalt is 55 degrees Celsius it will be interesting to see after the stint to see the brakes how hot they are and the tires and all that and yeah it's gonna be a tough time for me and the car um, because there's no shade there anyway I'm gonna go uh, I need to go to the barber to cut my hair and to wash my car and lastly to show you what I've done to this car uh, for the track day tomorrow so yeah let's go The first and the only thing that I did so far is changing the wheels and tires. The original ones were skinny 16 inch wheels, so I went with wider 17 inch wheels along with sport continental tires. Here are the differences in great detail. Finally, the beast is all ready for the track day tomorrow. Early in the morning I bought sandwiches and packed my camera equipment and after that we hit the road. Oh, how it burns. We barely start. As you see, we came 30 minutes earlier so we can be in the shade and for me to mount my cameras. And thankfully my dad found a nice spot in the shade. These cars you're seeing now are the cars that are in my group. Mostly turbocharged cars, over 200 horsepower, so it's gonna be interesting.
temperature was around 32 degrees Celsius, but thankfully it was also windy. And here you can again see just how much wider the wheels are. I simply couldn't wait to test them out. But because I didn't properly warm up my tires, the car was sliding. Right now I noticed my engine temperature was raising, which was weird because I barely drove fast. Still, because of the mistake in the first corner, I decided to do a cooldown lap. But then I glanced at the engine temperature and I saw the gauges all the way up to high. I was slowly starting to panic. Nešovi, pokazuje mi da je motor baš na visokoj temperaturi. I stopped and restarted the car just in case the sensor is faulty, but that wasn't the case. Resetov sam ga, sad mi piše check engine, ima lampica. Ništa, vraćam se. Check engine light. I don't know what's the problem. I hope it's gonna be some small thing. We quickly realized that the coolant was leaking because the hose that goes to the intercooler popped off. Thankfully my dad had a new clamp, so he will try to put the hose back. <laughs> Lastly, we refilled the coolant because of the leakage. So it's pushed. Polak. After around 10 minutes, the temperature was back to normal and the check engine light went away. I hope you can hear me, but the first stint didn't go well. Thankfully, we fixed it right now, and overall, the, the tires the tires were holding me in the corners very, very well. I'm so surprised. It's a really, really fir a good first step. I hope I'm gonna be lucky to get a fast lap, and I only need one. <laughs> That's all. So yeah, wish me luck. I wish you luck. After one fast lap, the temperature was rising, but I got so so happy just seeing the gauge going down after 10 seconds during cooldown lap. So I got the confidence back and started to do more fast laps. After making that mistake, I was still pushing because I need to practice since I only had few laps in the first stint. Now 
you will soon see how we nearly hit the BMW who broke down in the middle of the racing line. I saw him late because I was focusing and looking at the corner, the apex and all that. Now there are yellow flags on that part of the track because of BMW, but I was still pushing and learning the first part of the track. At this point I got so upset of myself because of making so many mistakes. Now some of you are asking why I didn't turn off the traction control. I don't know, I never felt like it was bothering me and cutting the power so I decided not to but in the next track day I will try it for sure. During this upcoming lap I had traffic, but it was the best lap during the second stint. After that lap, all I did was more mistakes. Temperature is good, everything is good, now I'm just going to go one Sweat. Like the I was I was so sweaty that it was started to drop. <laughs> oh my goodness. The, the drops of sweat, like that, that's how hot it is today. But thankfully there's no issue with with the uh, engine temperature and uh, all the everything is fine. It's just I have to do one good lap. Uh, there was every lap it was like the traffic problems or I did mistakes. I just need to do one perfect lap like, and I'm getting so frustrated <laughs> that I can't do it. The car has potential but I can't use it with, the, with these, uh, with these origi original seats that move me a lot and the steering wheel, steering ratio, the uh, slow steering ratio, so yeah. Let's see them on the third stint.
This lap wasn't bad, but then I encountered traffic. I had to keep trying and start my lap that had no cars ahead of me. O, extra, ja mogu, ja mogu, mogu sigurno sekund bolje. Dobre, dobre. I got so relieved, but deep in my mind I knew the car had potential for a much faster lap. In this attempt, I tried to do the fast lap following a fast car, but got surprised when I was catching to the car ahead of me, so because of that I backed off. This Mercedes driver, I don't know what he was doing. He had his hazard lights indicating that he is on a cooldown lap, yet he's driving on a racing line. After my mistake and the traffic problem, there was little time left to improve. Pressure was high, but in the next lap I managed to fight my way up.
Sad sam pokušao, nije baš najbolje, ali reci mi ko je kad izađe. And I burst out of happiness that the car nearly went off track when I heard my dad telling me the, the lap time. Dobre! And that was the best lap I did that day. Comparing to other people's times, I was very, very competitive. I could have went even faster, but still, I don't want to. I don't want to say I want to. I would have. I would have gone faster because I'm so happy, and I can. My I can cool down now, and the the car did excellent. Like I got used to it, and it was performing so so well. Um, although it is a, a big struggle to control, uh, my let's say my good driving skills <laughs> helped, and I was second second in my group. And that's crazy because there were like cars over 200 horsepower. I had under under 200 horsepower, and I still managed to to get a good time. So these wheels and, and tires, I could have I couldn't couldn't have asked for more out of them. So I'm so happy, and yeah, I can't wait for this project to continue because this is still running uh, original suspension. Everything is original except the wheels and wire tires, and yet I am second best in my group. In the third stint, uh, there was less cars, so there was less traffic to bother me. That's why I was finally able to get uh, two, two very good laps. So, yeah, this is uh, such a happy day for me. Like, I can, I wanna sing, and you will even hear me in the car how I was like yelling in the car of happiness. That's all, stay tuned for this project. I, I can't wait for the suspension and the racing seat. Those two are very important. Helmet. Well, yeah, yeah, helmet for safety too. So stay tuned and the uh, uh, air filter. So, yeah. Woohoo! Oh my God. <laughs> I guess that was a bad idea. And I can't end this video without thanking my dad and my friend for fixing my car. My whole family was supportive and that made me even happier for even exceeding my goals. And we're drinking more water uh, because we drink so much water today. Okay, I took a bath and I relaxed a little bit because it was a very, very long day. Um, but a happy day, <laughs> for sure. One minute, uh, 43.5 seconds, to somebody it's just a number. But for me, like, I felt like I won the F1 race or something. Like, it, it really meant a lot to me. And I am super happy that the car is actually showing the potential. And after the third stint, many people were coming up to me and asking like, hey, what did you do to the car? Like it looked very fast and it's a very nice feeling to like smile at them and say like I haven't done anything um, just the wider wheels and tires that's all and they, they actually like got surprised and that's what I mentioned in the video where I was talking about starting the project I didn't want to just go and buy the most popular choice for the racetrack I wanted something unique in short, it's much more impressive to put down a very very good lap while not having the popular car for the track. And on that note, stay tuned for the next video of my Toyota project. Bye!